Hello my friends, how you doing today? This is Sherry. Welcome to my channel, Turquoise Dreaming. I'm so glad you're here. Come on in, I'm going to show you what I made, uh, what I did to these little notebooks and, and kind of tell you a little bit about how I did it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, please go ahead and hit that bell so you can get the notifications of my next videos and also hit the a thumbs up or the like button and leave me a comment down below. Let me know uh, which one of these notebooks is your favorite. So uh, I had showed you these where I how I made these in uh, December, I think it was, where I made some for gifts for my coworkers. And at the time, I had bought about ten of these little notebooks, ten or twelve or something. I don't know. I used three for gifts at Christmas time. So uh, and then at that time, I think I showed you this one too. Possibly, yeah, I think I showed you this one. Maybe not, though, because I didn't put, you know what it was, I made those three, I showed you those three, and all of these I put fabric on the spine, and I didn't put fabric on the spine of those. So since then, this is how I have um, kind of, you know, progressed as far as I, for these, I wanted to put fabric on the spine. So let me just give you a little tour of these. Uh, I think I used uh, one or two, I think I used one, paper pad for all of these so they all kind of coordinate and uh, so what I did was uh, these are little notebooks in case you haven't seen any of the videos about where I talk about these little notebooks before I picked these up at Walmart they're in the little you know notebook and journal and all that little aisle they're on that aisle they're only 97 cents they're you know a good size they're craft colored cardstock co covers so if you did want something with a plain cover, there you go, 97 cents for a little journal. But uh, this is approximately five and three quarter inches wide. These little, they're nine, I said they're 97 cents, I think. And eight and one quarter inches tall. So uh, yeah, I made these for my friends at work because, you know, they've never heard of a junk journal. And, uh, you know, I didn't want to give them a junk journal. They probably would not know what to do with it. It would just sit there and they wouldn't use it. So I wanted to give them something to show kind of what a tiny bit of what I do when I make a journal or do my paper crafting and also give them something they would use. So anyway, um, let me. Uh, this one has a little, bur you know, I want to say burlap, uh, jute twine tie, tie closure. Uh, I used on the ones I made for my friends I used cardstock and I found out on the ins outside and inside of the cover and I found out it just gave it a little tiny bit of bulk you know what I mean so that the cover didn't kind of like see how it is now kind of flat and it closes and everything and it doesn't really need a tight closure it's just kind of just the tight closure is really kind of just for decoration but um, I you know I think it's pretty with a tight closure but uh, I decided on these to try using paper, just scrapbook paper, like one-sided scrapbook paper. And then I wouldn't be wasting one side, you know, where I put it down. And, you know, it's a good use for one-sided scrapbook paper. It doesn't add any bulk. And, you know, then you're not using your good, you know, I mean, this is good paper. I'm just saying you're not using your two-sided paper where you might want to use that for a journal cover or something where you need the two sides. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, here's this is a, from, from a scrapbook paper pad. I think I got this particular scrapbook paper pad at a thrift store, believe it or not. It is so cute and so pretty. I love the colors. So, as you can see on this one, I rounded the corners on all the paper so it would match the corners. If a little bit of uh, the craft cardstock shows, on the ones I did in um, December, I left the crap, I left a, like a little border all the way around on purpose to, um, I wanted it to show, you know what I mean? Here, I, I, my goal was to cover the whole thing, but it wasn't, I don't, if it, a little bit of it shows, I'm not, I think that's fine. So if you make one of these, you know, don't think it has to be uh, perfect. I mean, you can try to get it perfect, but if it's not perfect, I think it's pretty with a little bit of crap, you know, the craft color showing. So then I added on all of these, I have a little center piece in the middle of the cover. I have the fabric spine, you know, cover. And here's the back. I used the same on all of these, the same scrapbook paper on the front and the back. And then I used a different piece on the inside. So here's the piece I used on the inside of this one. You can see it's bright, kind of bright and cheerful and pretty and, uh, you know, just 
love the colors the little teacups or coffee cups there there's little vases of flowers here and you can see all the colors Isn't that pretty on the first page of each one I put a little heart I mean not a little heart this one I put a heart in but I put something some kind of little decoration like this on the first page of each one and on and in the inside cover and the back cover I put a little some type of little tuck spot or, or pocket or something so here's the pocket on this one it's I used an ephemera pack and this is was a postcard in the ephemera pack and this was a flower in there and then this one has a little tuck spot in the back where I also <clears throat> put a couple of uh, little pieces of note paper. Here's the tuck spot too. There, so that is that one. I put little. I'm going to put little note papers in each one. Just one second. Let me grab something. Okay, so that was that one. So I'm going to, you know, not describe the rest of them in detail like that. I just wanted to show you the overall general kind of decoration I did on each one. So let me just show you each one now, as it turned out. So as you can see, the rest of them have a little fabric kind of tie closure uh, on the ones I gave my friends I think I used the jute twine so you know just whatever you have if you want to do a tie closure but as you can see it doesn't really need a tie closure so here's this one with this little focal point here I think I might have shown you this one before fabric on the spine and the back cover inside little pocket and note papers here scrapbook paper and then here's the inside of this one. A little, a little uh, celebrate today, a little piece there, and a bird. And here's the little papers in this one. So that is that one. Let's see, I'll put the little tight closures with each one so I can tie them back later. Uh, the next one here. Now, some of them I didn't put uh, the little papers in yet, so that's why I went and got some papers. Maybe we can do that together. But here's the little, I put a little label on this one. It's pretty scrapbook paper the fabric, the strings <laughs> that I need to take off, scrapbook paper. I love the scrapbook paper. Uh, here's the inside of this one. I put a little pin decoration. What was the decoration on this one? Hold on. I didn't point it out. What was it? I didn't notice it. Let's see what it was. Oh, it's an arrow. Okay. There we go. The arrow on that one. This one has the pin. And I think I showed you this one before too, but this is just a flip through of all of them real quick and I'm going to put some of these in my shop. I'm going to put all of these shot in my shop except for one. Here's a little tuck spot on this one with the little note papers. See how cute these turn out, right? Of course you can do this to any notebook, right? So in the next few now, now you haven't seen these, these yet. Tuck closure with the fabric and the back inside. I don't think I put note papers in this one yet. Nope, I didn't. Okay, and here's a little decoration here. Look at that with the hot air balloons. Isn't that pretty? So this was a piece of paper where the corners, like it was, you know, it's 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper, and it had the decoration in the corners, like this, in one corner, and you'll see the back decoration here in the other corner. So I made sure I put the corners where I wanted them so I could have that little decoration you know, in the middle was all like this part right here, like sun rays, rays of sun. So I made sure I put the little corner decorations where I wanted them to get it on this uh, cover to look, you know, the way I wanted it to. Here's a little pocket here and a little pocket here is a tuck spot, a flower tuck spot. So for these, like this is a small one. I didn't want to put a big pocket here or a bigger pocket and cover up any of this, right? It's so pretty. Why would I cover it up, right? So let's grab, this is a little piece of note. Oh, this is the last one. I was just gonna say, I wanted to use this one up. And here it is, I can save this. This is a nice piece of cardstock. I'll save that and and uh, add a little piece of note paper here. In fact, let's add two while we're at it. And so and some of them, if they have a little pocket like this, I'm just gonna fold up the note papers so that they fit into the pocket. And then somebody can get them and unfold the note papers, use them, cut them up, whatever they want to do. And then you have all the these all have this lined paper. And it's not just well, this one, um, let me show you this one up close. So I'll put that in there. This is a tuck spot. It's open, it is open on the side for a little bit more room. So there we go. And it's kind of like dotted lines. 
it looks like to me, and this, and unless I'm seeing things, it kind of looks like dotted lines. Maybe they're straight lines, but they're kind of nice. They're really, really nice um, lined paper here, front and back lined, and a lot of pages. So that's a lot of writing you can do, or you can decorate however you want. But the, here's the back tuck spot. So I used. Let's use a different one, couple of papers here in this one. We've got this pretty one here, and this pretty one here. These little notepads I got at Walmart. It's a good deal for these. Cheaper than, um, it's like if you get two of these at Dollar Tree now. In fact, I haven't seen these nice in those pads at, um, I have seen some, but not the nice ones that they, they used to have. So hopefully they will get it more, more nice ones in. But uh, anyway, if you get a notepad at Dollar Tree, they're what, $1.25 each. And these were less than $1.25 each. So that's why I went ahead and picked up a couple packages. And they come two in a package. So um, that's why I picked up a couple at uh, Walmart because it's actually a better deal. And they were very pretty. So there we go. That that one's note papers is done. <laughs> so let's see, I used those two. Here's maybe there's another one I wanted to use up in here. This one too. It's it's got less than the others, so I just wanted to see if I could oh it opens this way. Yeah, I still got quite a bit on there though, but I haven't used that one yet. See, okay, next. Look at this one, it has hearts on it. And I put this little remember. When I put this on here, I was like, oh, that is so beautiful. This uh, brown background and the black letters on this, see these brown hearts? It just looks so beautiful with those brown hearts and all the other colors, of course. So here's this one. Remember, and isn't that the perfect little uh, title for a little notebook or a journal? Remember, I thought that was so perfect. Love that scrap of paper. I can't believe I got that at a thrift store, really. <laughs> Here's the inside of this one. Some very pretty paper. Here's the tuck spot. Here's a little decoration on the first page. So let's get let's get one of these papers. This kind of matches the inside here. And let's get one of these. This is some little note paper. This I got at a thrift store one time. So cute, right? And it's white on the back for writing. But this, let's see. Let's just fold this one in half and put it in here. And then this one, this one might fit just like this. Let's see, it actually goes like this. This is right side up, so there we go. So we used those two. And then the back pocket is a little, it looks like a little kind of divider card, all from that ephemera pack. I think these are from Vicki Booten ephemera. So let's use one of these. I haven't used this one yet. In these notebooks. I just got this one out. And so that one. And let's put one of these in. This I got at a thrift store too. This one, I'm not sure, estate sale or thrift store. Uh, the only ones I got at Walmart were these two. These two. And, and, and. Let me show the other two. In case you didn't see that video where I showed you these on a thrifty Thursday. These two, these two bigger ones, uh, the, the bigger ones I got at Walmart recently because, well, they were so pretty. And <laughs> I wanted some more like generic because I have a lot of recipe cookbook related notebooks. I kind of save for my, um, you know, cookbook and recipe related journals, but I needed kind of like just some generic that I could put in any journal, which I can use a recipe in any journal, but uh, there is the, let's make sure that's straight. Yeah. I can use those in any journal, but you know, I kind of tend to save them for um, my recipe. Now this one I put a different fabric. I used red on all of them except on the spine, except for this one and one other one. So this one I had this little, when I put this little decoration on there, it just looks so beautiful. I went with it. Some kind of wonderful. Isn't it pretty? It has little hearts here. And then so because this has pink in it, I put this, uh, this is a light pink. I had a couple different pink fabrics. The other one was too bright for this, and this one was like so perfect. It kind of blended in and still brought the pink over, you know. And here's the little piece of the fabric I used on the on the um, closure. Here's the back, and then the inside paper. Here's the little tuck spot here, and the little decoration it says "Love ya." Okay, let's start over because we use them all now. <laughs> Just going with it here. Okay, that's my cardstock, so let's just start over. Use them all again. 
I'm just keeping track of what I'm using here as far as not duplicating in the same journal or using all of them, you know, throughout these journals. So we'll fold that in half. I'm just folding them in half because they're a little, or folding them because I think they're a little, once I put them in here, they'll be a little taller than a journal, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to, I'm just folding them a little bit. This is like a tuck spot here. And then here's another tuck spot up on this side is a flower. So another couple pieces of note paper. And now one of the next three I'm going to give as a gift. So I'm keeping one of these and I'll show you which one. <laughs> and I'll tell you who it's going to. But just a second and I will show you that. So that's that one. Here's another one here. Can you believe all these papers were from the same paper pad? They all do have similar colors except for one. And I'll show you that one in just a second. It's the funniest thing, but it's very beautiful no matter what. So here's this one. This one says Dreamer. Here's the back. Inside cover. Very beautiful. This has a... Let me hold it up so you can see it. It's like a solid with a very light, the same color polka dot. And this is another one with the decoration in the corner. So here's, I put the decoration up there. And the back has the decoration up there too. So it turned out really cute. So that said Dreamer right on the front. So this little piece of ephemera right here says Dream in Color. And it has a little camera. And then I put the little camera that was in there over here. Oh yeah, that's not a tuck spot. This is just a de the decoration, a little camera, a camera, a Dream in Color. Funny how that works out, isn't it? <laughs> No, I had fun. I had a lot of fun with these. If you want to make any, I'll pick you up some of these little notebooks at Walmart, and I'm sure you will enjoy making them too. But if you don't want to make one, <laughs> some of these will be in my shop. If you need a quick little gift for Valentine's Day or Mother's Day, put one away for Mother's Day or a coworker. And I know some people give um, gifts to people besides their mothers on Mother's Day. Maybe they maybe give their grandmother a gift or an aunt or whatever sister. So there's that one tuck spot. The tuck spot back here. It's nice to be nice, and the pretty these pretty colors went so pretty with this red color here. I had to put that there. So and I've lost track of where I am with my note papers. Let's see. Okay, I haven't put this one in this in this journal. We're gonna start over in a second here. Kind of you know cycling or rotating my notepads here. Okay. This one's different. It comes off like this. This was kind of a. This is from a, a kind of an advertisement notepad that somebody gave out as an advertisement on the back. So there's that one and this one. There we go. And let's put the little pumpkin and stuff out. Okay, isn't that pretty? Here's that one. Okay, I've got two more. So here, this is the last two. So this one, again, has the red fabric. This this front, uh, this is two pieces. And I was, um, I liked both of these, and then uh, they went so well together from the same ephemera pack, of course. But this says, so very brilliant. And see this gold color here? It matched so well with the back. This has, like, gold butterflies right here. And then, of course, these colors and everything went with the notebook and the fabric. Here's the back. And here's the inside. Another corner decoration on a big 12 by 12. If you can picture this in the corner, like the upper corner, and then there's another decoration in the bottom corner. Uh, this one didn't have a decor. This one did apparently didn't have a decoration in the bottom corner, but it had this little border, which I made sure went on the top and the side. So let's put some. Here's a little tuck spot. And a little decoration on this is a little floral right here. So pretty, right? Can you see that? Let me put it. So, there it is right there. Okay, and then, okay, let's cycle through these again because I've been rotating over here. <laughs> I need to start over. Okay, so one of these and one of these. And my mom loves, uh, my mom loves to make lists and loves paper like notebooks and things and uh, nice pens and 
Really, she just likes the paper mostly, though, as far as that goes. Um, you know, like, just different notebooks. She has one on her desk, probably one in the kitchen, one in her purse, you know, type of thing. So, uh, let's see. What did I put in the front of this one? Uh, two long ones. Okay, let's put that one and this one back here. This one has a little, it says color outside the lines and it has a little paintbrush in it. Really cute. Little tuck spot here. So let's put these in here. So you can see how I finished these off. So you don't have to put note paper in. I just thought that would be cool to have some extra little pretty note papers for people that like to, you know, write or whatever they want to do in a little note notebook like this. So that's that one. So this is the one, the last one here that I'm going to show you. Look at this scrapbook paper. It doesn't look like any of the rest. <laughs> it's so funny. It's got little acorns. It's not um, autumn colors, but it, you know, you when you see an acorn, don't you think of autumn? I do. So uh, it doesn't. It was in that scrapbook paper pack, but it doesn't look like it belongs in there. I don't know what what happened. Like, did it get in there by mistake? I don't know. But it's so I loved it. So I put it on this journal, and this is the one I'm going to give to my mom. I'm going to put it away for Mother's Day and mail it at, to, down to her in Florida at the appropriate time with a card that I'd like to make a card to. But uh, this has the colors in here. See the background is green. And we've got like a lighter green here. The little stems are kind of a goldish kind of color. And then you've got light blue in here. See the leaves? And some on the acorns right here are light blue. So this little cloud right here was in the ephemera pack. So, you know, I was looking for something blue or something that would match this because most of the colors match those other colors <laughs> that I showed you. I was like, oh, I need something light blue. So I looked through and there was a light, this cloud. And then I actually had a label here. It's still there. It's a little light green label. So it matches like the light greens in here. But then I was thinking, my mom's not going to, She's not going to write anything there. It's, going to, it's just going to be, you know, wherever she uses it for. It's going to be sitting around or wherever she puts it, just with a blank label. <laughs> I, she likes to write lists and stuff, but she's not big into, like, she doesn't, she doesn't craft. Her craft was sewing, really. Sewing, and uh, her talent was music and sewing. So she doesn't paper craft or anything like what I do. So, uh... Anyway, I could just picture it sitting around with nothing there. So first I put this little word here, amazing. And I thought, and then this UR was in there. And I was like, and I, I had put everything away. And I was like, I need to put that UR in here because it go it goes with the amazing. There's no other words in that ephemera pack that that UR would go with. <laughs> so I put the UR right there. And then I looked for um, fabric. And I had to go through my fabric again and find some that would match and go with, you know, a, say this is a pattern this is like a gingham or a check and I had so I had to find something that would go with this overall pattern that would go with this so I this is the only piece I found in my whole fabric unless I wanted to put plain white or something and I really wanted something more more than that so anyway I think it turned out really cute and so I think she'll really like it and she'll they get a kick my both my parents and my mom and my dad get a kick like how did you do that <laughs> how did you how did you learn how to do this you know <laughs> they think it's really cool so uh, um here's the inside so yeah there were two pieces uh see the the outside and the inside the outside takes one piece of scrapbook paper there are some cut off but basically if you can picture this is six basically about six inches and this is six inches so each the outside takes a whole piece and the inside takes a whole piece so there were two pieces of this and there were no other pieces in that scrapbook paper that matched this so i used the same this is the only one I use the same on the outside and the inside. And my mom will like that. She, she'll like it. Take, take my word for it. <laughs> so, And so I'll put some pretty pieces of scrapbook paper in. This is her little tuck spot here. This one was kind of, you know, smallish. So I, all I did was put glue right down here so that this, this could be tucked like this. And then uh, let's put this one in the back. Let's put, since this is kind of, you know, kind of gives a fall vibe. I'm not, you know, I know this is fall, but I just think it's pretty. So that's why I'm using these. Plus I need, I don't have a lot left, so I'd like to use it up. I'm going to put one of these pretty fall papers in here. And that'll be her 
two pieces in the front. Here's my piece I put here on the front page. That was pretty, I thought. And then here, oh, I didn't put a tuck spot back here. What happened? <laughs> i got to get my ephemera out. Okay, let's go ahead. I'll, I'll get it out and find something to put there. I must have, this was, uh, I think I finished this one last, maybe. And so I probably was like, I gotta get, I got, I had somewhere to go yesterday. I finished it yesterday. And, um, so that, that I'm doing this video on Sunday. So I had to go and I finished these on Saturday. So, oh, I got a piece of that. And so, uh, yeah, I had to go, but let's see, I got to those two pieces, this one and use that. Let's see what other one would my mom like. Did I put one of these in here? No. Okay, let's put one of these in here. And so I'll put these in here. Go get my ephemera back out and uh, put... I already used that in here. But I put a little tuck spot there, and this will be put away until uh, April or whenever. A couple weeks before um, Mother's Day, I'll mail this down to my mom. And uh, between now and then, I'm going to make a Mother's Day card on video, too. So stay tuned if you'd like to uh, make a card of any kind. I'll try to give you some ideas for making some simple cards and uh, particularly, in particular, a Mother's Day card. So uh, thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the, the all the notebooks, all the rest of them that I showed you. Now I have to put all the tie closures back on, but <laughs> they're right here. Uh, I will be listing these in my Etsy, and when you see this video, they will be in there. Um, I think... I'm going to put each one in a separate listing because I want to be able to show, you know, the at least the front cover and the inside of the front cover so that, you know, somebody that doesn't see this video can see, like, it's not just covered here, you know, it's covered on the inside, too. So, yeah. And they will be inexpensive, so a nice little gift for whatever occasion. And I'll, or for yourself. <laughs> so I'll see you, see you all in my next video. Have a great day and happy crafting.